Hey guys, Ryan King here, and I'm the keyboard instructor for WorshipArtistry.com. In today's YouTube lesson, we're going to take a look at the song Your Grace is Enough by Chris Tomlin. And specifically, we're going to look at the chorus. Now, we're only going to look at the chorus, so if you want to see the entire lesson, you need to click the link and head over to Worship Artistry where you can sign up for an account for less than 10 bucks a month, and it's totally worth it. But just in case you want to check out a YouTube video, this is for you. All of the choruses are identical, and they look like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, 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 two, three, four, and off. So as you can see, it's very easy. All we're doing is A to E. Back to A, which is actually F sharp minor, we're just leaving out the F sharp, to D2, and then repeat, A, E, and then back up to D2. Now, depending on which chorus you're in, you'll either just slide off of that and go back into the second verse, or you'll repeat that and, uh, and, and do the exact same thing again. You won't slide off, you'll just continue to hold it. Another key thing is knowing when to kick in your Leslie. It's good to have it going when there's a lot of energy, when you find holes, when there isn't any singing, or if something's being held out vocally. It's okay to kick off your Leslie or kick it back on in order to just provide that nice energy to it. Now, after the second chorus, which is double chorus, you're going to come back to the pre-chorus. And then after that, you go back into a chorus, you're going to lay out of it for the first half. And then when you repeat the chorus again, you can fade in on a note or you can do a glissando. I chose to fade in on a high a and then I do a big full um, chord on my chorus at the very end it looks like this one two three four two two three and a one two three four 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 two two three four one two three Four, two, two, three, four, and off. So you can see I faded in on that high A, I kicked in my Leslie, I did a little walk down, and that got me into my first chord, and all I did was hold the high A while playing the exact same changes that you've already done during the chorus. Now after that, you go into basically a second chorus kind of thing. I would shift back down to just your normal voicings that you use. Uh, that way it allows some of the other instruments to shine, like the lead guitar and all that kind of deal. Now after the chorus, you're going to go into the outro, and it's the same thing as pretty much what you did for the intro. Just uh, use your voicing you're using during the chorus, so it's nice and full. And then when you get to the last chord, slide down and play your low open A chord, and that's the end of the tune. Now make sure you take a look at your sheet music down below, work through the loop video a few times. Let's move on to the next part of the lesson.